In this video, we're going to take a quick look at the sales order entry process for Microsoft Dynamics NAV 2009. When we first launched into NAV 2009, you're brought into the home page. The layout of the home page is based upon the role that you have been assigned. It's part of your security that determines the rights and privileges that each user has within the system. In this case, we're logged in as a user who's been assigned to the role of sales order entry. You can see then that all shortcuts in the top left portion of the window of the home page are related to activities revolving around the sales process. From here I can review sales orders, quotes, invoices, etc. I can see the items, the customers, and those journals that relate to these activities. In the main portion of the role center, I have quick views into the different activities that are relevant to my role. I can, for example, see quotes and orders that need to be released and have one-click links for the creation of a new sales order or a new sales quote. Below that, I can see orders that have been released but not yet shipped. Below that, returns that are waiting for my attention. I also have notifications from my Microsoft Outlook. I can see unread emails in my inbox, calendar items, task items, etc. And to the right, if I've elected to have certain customers tracked as part of my customers, I could see those details, customer name, ID, and phone number. Let's create a new sales order. When I click on the link for new sales order, what opens is a new sales order entry window. I can start by having a new number assigned for the sales order simply by clicking the enter key on my keyboard. I can then use the drop down to select what I want to work with. Tabbing off that field will fill in the remaining information, name, address, etc. Below that I have the lines detailed that relate to this specific order. From the top drop down I can select items that I want to work with, the item itself, the item's description, location code, etc. Underneath that I have additional tabs that would allow me to view invoicing details if they are different than the general information shown above, shipping information. If it is related to a foreign trade, I'd have access to the multi-currency portion of the system. E-commerce relates to our website, and I can indicate at the bottom if there's any prepayment that needs to be associated with this particular. In this case, for example, I might require a prepayment of 25%. To the right on the sales order entry screen, I can see details related to this particular customer. Their sales history, including how many shipments we have currently, posted invoices, posted return documents, etc. Underneath that I can see line item details, including the item number, and if there's any availability, substitutes, sales prices, etc. At the bottom, I can enter in a new note. Once I've completed all the details on the order, I can click OK and hold on to that order as part of the system. I'm now waiting for that order to be processed through. That's a quick overview of the sales order entry process in Microsoft Dynamics NAV 2009.